Served on a platter. Don't go on your phone whilst driving, it's a criminal offence, okay? <laughs> right, blast is on. Get a little bit sunny, aircon up, because I am boiling hot. Damn, I feel alive! Yeah, I actually have no idea where I am. Oh, big speed bumps, big speed bumps, pray for this. Foot down, pedal to the metal. Whoa! Hey, yeah. right, that was a bit scary, you know, bro. What's up guys and welcome back to a highly anticipated video. This is the first drive and review of my brand new AMG GTS in satin chrome turquoise. That is mad. I wanted to do this video for a few days now but the weather in the UK has been so so bad but it's finally taken a turn for the better. And I actually got the sunnies on today because it's that bright outside. And when you're looking at that car, it's like looking at Simon Cow's teeth, mate. You need these bad boys on. So what the plan for today's video is, we're going to go out for a drive and I'm going to show you the exhaust on it. I swear down, it's got a GTR Pro exhaust on it. It sounds incredible. The guys at GVE weren't sure what exhaust it had on it because it doesn't sound like a standard GTS. And I'll show you that a bit later on in the video. But first, my plan is to take you inside the car and around the car and show you the spec because it's not a common spec. There's a few little features in this AMG GTS that you don't really find in many of the GTSs. But before we jump into that, I'd just like to say, guys, I am doing a giveaway on my Instagram and I'm giving away some Jordan 4s in retro blue. It's absolutely free to enter. All you have to do is follow me on Instagram, subscribe to the YouTube and like the post on there. The full link is in the description, so if you want to get involved in that, you can do. The giveaway will end when I hit 27k subscribers, so the time is ticking. You haven't got very long, so if you want to get that, make sure you jump on there now and do that. And also, while you're at it, hit the subscribe button and hit the like button. You guys probably don't know how much I appreciate it every time somebody subscribes and likes the video. It makes me want to do it more, it makes me produce better content, and it ultimately gives us all a smile and, it, and that's what life's about being positive anyway so let's jump into this bad boy but before we do it just excuse it guys it is a little bit dirty it's been raining it's got watermarks and when i drove it back from gve it got a little bit of spray up it because it was raining obviously so it's not spotless but my plan today is to clean it we've got the truck over there which is spotless and we are wrapping that today so you'll see an update on the travis scott truck series coming very soon and the wheels are already done and they're in white so you've got so much to look forward to and the bmw m4 wrap is finished and it will be picked up this weekend and you will see that soon as well so there's so much to jump into but let's just start on this beautiful wrap i've had all the chrome details done in black gloss black and I've got the GTR stripe over the top. I've left the roof black because it's a pano roof, obviously. And then I've gone for this crazy satin turquoise chrome look on the outside. And honestly, it is a neck snapper. I've never seen anything like this driving down on the road. The road presence is insane insane but as you can see the signature long bonnet on the amg gts is the reason i wanted to get this car i've dreamed about it for years and then to be able to afford it at the age of 21 is a dream come true guys and it can happen to anybody it can happen to people like you just got to put a bit of hard work and dedication into it and anything is possible man anything is really possible my plan is to get a spoiler straight away a diffuser side skirts and a new front splitter in carbon and then I'm probably going to change the calipers and then maybe even change the steering wheel because you can get them carbon wheels with the lights on top, which are nuts. But let's jump inside and I'll show you what the interior spec looks like. Oh, it's open. It's already open, guys. So this is a red and black full leather interior. It's not the bucket seats. I've gone for the comfort seats. But the reason I've done that is because I sat in the bucket seats and they were so uncomfortable. And especially for long journeys, I didn't fancy it. I'm going to be driving this car around a lot and it is a Grand Tourer. So it is meant to be comfortable and also sporty at the same time. So you can see these seats and they are banging and I can't wait to put some miles into these bad boys. And in the side, you can see instead of the standard gloss black center console, I've got the carbon option, which is a lovely, lovely extra. I've got the Alcantara bits on the steering wheel, full leather here, full leather dash, full leather door uh, panels, everything. And then all of the inserts and like all of the accents are done in chrome. It's a really, really stunning interior. The only thing I am thinking of doing, or I'm not thinking of doing, I am going to get done. Is I'm going to get the door seals done in the color because when you open it up and it looks white it doesn't look very good and i don't particularly like it myself to be fair so that's my first little peeve with the car is i'm not too keen on the white uh 
door seals, I just don't think it looks right. So when you're sitting in the cockpit, it's pretty comfy. There is so much space in here compared to like the McLaren and other supercars. You've got so much space. You can literally just sit back, have a drink and you are just chilling in here. But yeah, so the interior, fantastic. First thoughts are I love it, people. I love it. You know when you just sit in a car and your ass fits in the seat perfectly. You're in there, it's made for you. It's like God made the car for my ass cheeks to sit in and be comfortable. So yeah, first things first, love the interior of this car. And it's a, it's a five year old car people, but it feels brand new. Mercedes interiors were really ahead of their time. I know the new ones are, are just futuristic as and they're out of this world. But even a 2016 Merc AMG GTS wouldn't feel out of place on the current market in today's, in today's current market, I mean. Spit your words out, son. So uh, let's start the thing up. We'll do a little start for you guys so you can hear it here. Ooh. That is naughty and that's just in comfort. Wait, so what, what you've got down here is you've got all the controls. So this is the main control to change the way the car drives. And you can go into Sport, Sport Plus, and then Race here. But to save time, I've set up my individual, which is this eye with the star on down here, to exactly how I want it. So when I want to just switch the mode and go into Demon mode, I can literally flick it to eye like that. And the car is made for me exactly how I want to drive it. So if you're driving past me and you hear, that subtle change in my exhaust, you know it's game over for you. If you're pulling up next to me, wanting smoke, you will get served on a platter. Right, let's hit the road and see what the beast, see what the beast can do, shall we? Right, my people, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Do you know what though? Driving this for like just the little bit I have already, I have noticed that just to maneuver it is so different because you're basically sitting on the rear wheels and I've never done that in a car before. So when you turn, the bonnet is so long and you're on the rear wheels that I, I've caught the curb on the back, not actually like scratching my alloys, but I have like driven over a curb because I'm not used to the weird dimensions of it. And that's not because I'm a bad driver because I'll have you guys know that I am a fantastic driver. Let's get the sunroof open and let a bit more light in. I am a fantastic driver. Ish. So I'm, I'm driving in comfort mode at the moment, which is the most soft the car drives. I, I wouldn't say it's the, the softest ride. It obviously is a supercar. And did you hear that? I just changed it into the to the mode where it's just, it, I just changed it into individual mode where it's, it's tailored to me. So I'll put my foot down a little bit just so. Did you hear that? The snap, crackle, and the bang from the exhaust at my own command, and get bang, 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 which is, which is a driver's dream, is it not? A petrol head's dream is to be able to have burbles and bangs at the stamp of a foot on command like that, and this car offers that. Whoa, see it, driver was having it, my bro, having it. But yeah, I'm gonna put it back into comfort just so I can talk. But let me put the aircon on as well because I am sweating. Mate, it is hot in here. But yeah, like, I just want to say, guys, thank you to every single one of you because you all have played a part in me achieving this and getting here. And this is only a fraction of what I want to do with the channel. We've got so much ahead of us, so many good times, so many laughs, so much happiness to look forward to together. Positive vibes always from your boy. And you know, who knows what we'll wear and what we'll be doing this time next year, but at this current time, I am happy and I'd just like to say thank you once again. I know I sound like a broken record, constantly saying happy, but I bloody mean it, my people. I bloody mean it. To be fair, yeah, guys, I haven't driven this car harsh yet, so I'm gonna go and find the road where I can have it. I'm gonna put it into I, or actually, I'm gonna put it in race. F it, why not? And I'm gonna fing have it, but put your foot down. And the brakes work nicely as well, which is always good to know. So if I'm flying into a tree at 100 mile an hour, at least I know something's gonna slow me down. <laughs> right, glass is on. It's getting a little bit sunny, aircon up, because I am boiling hot. Well, you guys notice that when you get a new car, it's just, you gotta make yourself comfortable in it. 
You know what I mean? You don't instantly just feel comfortable. Wow, that fan is chugging some smoke out. You don't feel comfortable straight away. You gotta get your bearings with it. You gotta get used to it and then you can push it. I remember watching an interview with some Formula One drivers and they were saying that when they first get in the new Formula One cars of the season or they change team, they don't have it straight away because they wanna understand what this car is capable of and they can know the limits of the car that they're driving. And I think that's what it's like for me or, or for anybody. When you get a new car, the first time you drive it, you don't wanna go crazy in it because you're just trying to get your bearings and understand the limits of the car. But once you get them limits of the car, it's demon time, baby. Woo! Oh my God, the Arsen went then again. Man, this car is gonna be crazy. This summer is gonna be lit. This road is dead, by the way. I don't even know where I've gone. I was chatting away and I don't even know where I am. Let's put foot down. Bro. Oh, I need to stop swearing. <laughs> Damn, I feel alive. Yeah, I actually have no idea where I am. Oh, this is not good. I need to turn around. What is the, what is the locals doing? Jeez, little one for the boys and that. Little one for the lads. I'm following a Supra. Nice. Anyway, I need to actually pull over and find out where the f where the frick I am because I ain't got a clue. I want to get on a motorway. I want to get on some motorways. Don't go on your phone whilst driving. It's a criminal offence, okay? I'm in Breadhurst go left and it should take me back to where I want to go. Driving through like little lanes, it's comfortable. I'm comfy right now. I've got it in comfort and I'm comfy. Funny that, isn't it? Funny that. Oh, big speed bumps, big speed bumps. Pray for this. It's okay. You know, it's not actually that low. When I was speaking to Matt at GV, he said one thing you could do is put a lowering kit on it because it's not actually that low at the moment. So that's something as well I'll probably look at doing. But at the moment, I'm just enjoying the car as it is. It's new to me, it's fresh. I don't need to mod it or change it yet. Once that novelty wears away, then boom, man's gonna be making changes like Pep Guardiola out here. Substitutions, left, right and center, spoilers on, wheels off, bang, 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 you know what I mean? But for the minute, we're good. Oh, I hate speed bumps, I hate speed bumps. Do you know what, Boris, if you're watching, take the speed bumps off the road. They cause more emissions and more crashes and more split splitters than you can ever imagine. My BMW has a splitter that's broken because of one of your speed bumps that you commissioned on the road. Shame on you, Boris Johnson. Enough said about Boris Johnson, that geese is a joke anyway. Oof, oof. Boy, this road is not built for speed. Aye, motorway, that's what we want to get. Oh, I hate traffic. What's the time? 5.30, school holidays. There should be no school traffic out here. This pano roof though, is the best optional extra you can get on this car. In my opinion, it just makes it feel so much more spacious in here. And when it's sunny, I can connect with Jesus better. I can see him there. It's nice as well to be able to catch a tan on your neck while you're driving, do you know what I mean, people? Boom, boom, boom. Let's get it into Woohoohoo! Damn, girl! Oh, I hate, I hate roundabouts as well. But not when you're driving an AMG, because you just pull out on them like that! Woo! Oi, get out of the way! Get out of my way! Oh, my God. I had to upshift because I was going to burn too much fuel. It's pointless. This guy's not getting out of the way. In your T-Rock, man. I'll T-Rock your f***ing road if you don't move. Right, guys, we're coming onto the motorway where I can have it. Right, then, who's ready for this? Who's ready for this? Oh, get out of the way! Get out of the way, slow people! Right, this is it, boys! This is it, boys! Foot down, pedal to the metal! Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Hey, mate! Hey, that was a bit scary, you know, bruv. about on this channel so obviously we got 
got DMAX coming up on the 11th of September. I am super, super gassed to be going and put it back into comfort for a minute, let the car rest back down. I'm super gassed. I'm gonna be doing a 10 part series of a trip for Europe and after D-Max finishes, which is on the Wednesday, because we leave on the Saturday, we finish on Wednesday in Barcelona. I am gonna be then traveling back through Saint-Tropez and doing a couple more parts on the journey. If I had more time, I would do, but I've got things to get back to at home. And yeah, that is gonna be so crazy. So that is a major reason for you guys to subscribe because I'm doing a 10 part series. 10 part series. You don't want to miss that. You don't want to miss that. 10 whole part. Come on, subscribe. Oh, I miss this so much. Right, I'm gonna go and find a spot and then I'm gonna put you out the back so you can hear the bang. There is one more cool feature which I can see on the dash here. So if you click the home button here and then just go up, it goes down to AMG. You bang it in AMG mode and bosh, it's like ready for tracks and that. Decent. Well, bad news, it won't stick. But what I'm gonna do is just gonna stand you outside and just open the valves up so you can hear the beauty. Tell me what you think. Is it an aftermarket exhaust? Is it a stock exhaust? It's gotta be aftermarket in my opinion because it literally sounds like the GTR, mate. a stock GTS exhaust. I don't know if you ever heard one on eBay or heard one go by, whatever you know what one sounds like, but that is not stock. No way! Don't this type of video, guys. I was watching them last night. Don't it make you just want to go and get in your car and just drive it, have fun, us petrol heads, us people who are car lovers. There's nothing better than just getting in your car on your own, going for a drive, getting your tunes up, then turning your tunes down, listening to your exhaust, then turning your tunes up, putting the windows down, putting your arm out in the window, and just enjoying the feeling of being behind the wheel. There is nothing better. There is nothing better. We are a dying breed of people. Us petrol heads, man. Wow, wow. I'm ecstatic, my back is sweating, my throat is hurting, I'm that excited. So guys, that wraps up my first drive in the AMG and safe to say it was nuts. I'm just out here trying to spread some positive vibes. If you like that, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button while you're at too. If you wanna watch me collect this bad boy, it's my most recent upload, it's crazy. And there's plenty more car related content on my channel, which you can go and watch now. And if you haven't entered, go and enter the giveaway because I know one of you guys is gonna enjoy it when you win it. Jordan 4 Retro Blues for absolutely nothing. Link in the description. Over and out.